Right back to high school football, and this is an honor, and uh, we're fired up about it. It's a big game for a league championship. It'll be live on Teen Vision TV 16 this coming week. It's the Ivy League title, Rancho Verde against Orange Vista. And, Johnny, we got to pull the, the tape because I said, like, back in July or August, I'm like, I got a feeling week 10 these two schools are going to meet for a league championship, and here we are. Uh, it's both head coaches and their brothers, of course. Eric Zomal at Rancho Verde, Greg Zomal at Orange Vista. We got the guys on the show together, and uh, this is an honor. This is so cool, guys, and I really appreciate you both taking time out of your busy week schedule to prepare, obviously, for a very important game. And, uh, and I know Rancho Verde is the home school, so I'll start with Eric over there on the end. Eric, uh, just some general thoughts about not only playing for a league title, but obviously you're going to know the head coach on the opposite sideline a little bit. Yeah, no, I know. no, Pep, you did, you did call it, and I, and I was, I said, I, I hope the game has some, some meaning, and um, you know, and so, and it does. Like it's for a league championship, so it's um exactly what you would hope for in a week ten, you know, uh, you know, not even cross town, down the street rival, and um, so it like this is gonna be super exciting. It'll be by far the biggest turnout that we, you know, we have, uh, you know, we've had this year at, at a home game, so. And, you know, and of course, you know, it's, uh, you know, my big brother. So that's the, an even uh, added element to it. But there's there's a lot of, like, uh, exciting components to this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, when you when you said that, uh, when you predicted that back in probably, what, August, yeah. I want to say, um, you know, I looked at our league. I looked at how young my team was and, you know, and, and, and my quarterback and the whole deal. And I, I thought, man, that's – it would be great, but man, we're in a league with some really good teams, and and uh, you know, I was just hoping that you know when we got to this game that it would it would have meaning besides just bragging rights. I already knew it was going to be bragging rights. It was going to be a cross town rivalry thing and a brother thing, but man, this just makes it all all the much sweeter, you know, um, having to play for something uh, more than just the bragging rights. You know, Greg, I'll start with you on this one. You know, I, I'm sure, obviously, there's mixed emotions because you want to win a league championship, but you probably look across the way and you're like, man, I'm happy for Eric because he finally got things going. You know, after a slow start at Rancho, you know, they're winning some football games and now they've got some meaningful games late in the season. And, and same thing for you, Eric. You're probably looking at Orange Vista where, you know, you were with your brother and, you know, they were, what, one, two points away from being undefeated right now. So, Greg, let me start with you. Did you is it kind of mixed emotions? Because you, obviously you want to win a league, league championship, but you're happy for your brother that they were able to, you know, get some wins uh, in, in league play. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Pep, man, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because of you, you know. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I uh, when the interview and stuff, but man, really, it's, it's, it's pretty nerve-wracking, man. It's the first time in my life that I'm, I'm actually – uh, and something that's of value besides a Madden football game or, you know, a video game um, that I'm actually going against my brother. It's, it's the first time, you know, I mean, we've had our, our, our growing up uh, uh, sibling rivalry type stuff growing up. But as we got into, you know, the real world, it was always us against the world. So um, so, yeah, it's it's a it's a real mixed kind of deal. I knew it was going to happen uh, because we're on the schedule. We're down the street um, and I knew people were going to really push the, the brother thing, man, but it, it really is a special um, event for this school. It's a special event for both schools. And along with it, you know, I get to play, uh, I get to compete against my brother for the first time. So it is definitely mixed, you know, um, it's going to be fun this Friday when we get that dub and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to pretend that that's what, what I, what I, uh, what I intend to not do, but, um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's gotta be, uh, our school against each other, but but at the same time, it's it's me going against my, my younger brother, so it makes it makes it pretty special. You know, Eric. Obviously, you guys know each other very well in your coaching styles and what you like to do and stuff. Um, it is. It, does it make it harder to game plan for something like this? No, nah, not not really. I mean, like when you put the tape on, like you can see my like I know my brother is a hyper competitive person. And so you can see that reflected in his team. Like this is this, and just being honest, this, I'm not sugarcoating this or anything. I have no reason to to exaggerate. This is the most aggressive and intense they've ever looked. And so my brother has built this program to this point. And so they are a reflection of him. And I, I've always said that, like the team is a reflection of the coaches. And so, so when he, it's you know, when it's taking some time, he's had some good teams, he's had some good talent. 
And it's really kind of, you know, kind of uh, reached this point where it's all kind of going in the same direction. You can see that he has their full attention and they are, I mean, they're playing, they're as aggressive and explosive as any team I've seen on film this year. You know, and Eric, let me follow up with you real quick about your team. You know, obviously, uh, non-league didn't go, you know, exactly as planned, but you get to league play and you start to sort things out a little bit. You get a couple wins, and now you do have a mini meaningful game here in week number 10. How proud of you of, you know, just your team, just staying the course and not giving up. You guys didn't fold, you didn't give up, and now you got a chance to, to maybe win a league title. I'm, I'm super proud of these kids, man. They they carry the the burden of the tradition and the history of one of the most, you know, um, successful programs in the history of, of the IE. And so, you know, it's it's not, you know, a, a little unfair for them to be kind of judged by that by that same, you know, um, you know, barometer. But um, but it is what it is. Like you can't run away from it. You know, it's there's a it's the, the gift and the curse of being you know, a, a Mustang. And so people expect a lot and that's OK. Like pressure is a privilege. So I'm I'm uh, I, I appreciate the fact that they kind of like you said, stayed the course. And, you know, it, we just kept pushing and fighting and trying to find our you know identity. And we're still in that process right now. And Friday night is just another opportunity for us to go against a, a, you know, an excellent team, a well-coached team, an explosive team, talented team, and then just kind of measure where we are. This is a, like, this wasn't going to be like an overnight. I didn't make any promises to anybody except my best effort and show. And so our kids have, um, have bought in and, and they could have folded, you know, when, you know, we came out of non-league over and, um, but they, you know, they, they hung tough and, 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 and we're reaping the benefits. We have an opportunity Friday night to you know, do something that I think a month ago nobody would have expected um, for us to compete for a league championship. So I'm super proud of those boys and our coaching staff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Greg, let me go to you. I mean, on, on your side of the football, you know, for the Coyotes, you guys have been great all season long. You know, again, a point or two. You know, if you take that Elsinore game, you know, you guys could be working on an undefeated season. What's the message to your team this week in terms of just, hey guys, let's finish the job. We've come for, you know, we've had a great season. Let's not let it unravel here at the end because you guys, again, could be undefeated right now. Yeah, that's that's exactly it, Pep. You know, it's a uh, stay in focus, stay in the course, man. I have a, a, a great coaching staff, man. We've been together for most of my guys been together for five years. Um, and, uh, and we are right in line with the same message on, from our coaching stuff, from the principal all the way down to the water girl, to the, you know, the, any player on the team, um, is that man, if we stay the course, we're pretty good. Um, but when we when we get unfocused and we start thinking, we start smelling ourselves and thinking like we've arrived and and we're we're really that special, then that that's when we kind of lose focus and and uh, and have those hiccups. You know, Elsinore, not to take credit away from them, but, you know, but um, but, you know, I think we we kind of la lacked the focus that week. Um, it showed in practice coaches. We were pointing it out, you know, and at the same time, you know, we're we're the kids are a reflection of the coach. So. Um, I took that as a challenge to myself to never let our kids, um, you know, be in a position where we, we haven't prepared them. And I felt like at that point we, we hadn't prepared them for for that type of a game, you know, a league championship. That's what we were saying that, you know, Elsinore was one of the top favorite uh, teams in the league. And, and we were looking at that game as, man, this could this could be the, you know, the, the what, what turns out to be determining the, the league championship. Um, you know, I'm thankful to the Rancho Verde Mustangs that they they uh, put an L on their on their record, and then and then North um, also you know made it made it even tougher for them. So um, it put us in position to to uh, play for an outright league championship, and that that's all you can ask for, man. I got a young team, but I got really good coaches, uh, and I got um, support of my admin and you know and the community supporting, and you know I got ASB behind us. Everybody's fired up about this game, and uh, everybody knows what what it means besides just the bragging rights and and so uh and so I'm just excited man and our, I'm excited for our kids and I'm I'm really excited for my coaches you know because they don't you know they don't always get the credit they deserve well guys I don't know how much you communicate during the season but uh, Greg you just brought it up that was a huge well it was a huge win for Rancho Verde to stay in the hunt for a league title but beating Elsinore was you know obviously huge for Orange Vista as well was there a text message or anything between between you guys after Rancho beat Elsinore 
Uh, yeah, I congratulated my bro, and you know he had something funny to say. I don't, I don't know, <laughs> 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 I'm sure, but you know some brother stuff, brother stuff there. But yeah, I was proud of him. You know, and 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 like I said, man, through all this, it's emotional and it's you know it's weird and it's. But I'm so proud of my brother, man. And that was a that was another proud moment uh, as a Zoma, as a you know as a big brother Zoma, and just being you know part of this whole experience. And so yeah, I congratulate him because it was you know. You know, I, I honestly didn't know if they could pull it off, you know, and uh, and they did. And, and uh, you know, and it was it was big for the program It was big. And I also want to say, man, it was a it was a, a impressive that, man, when you go on five, you know, they they call it losing the kids. You know, at, at on five, you're supposed to lose the kids and then, and then they just go into the tank. And so that's one of the most impressive things. My brother's never been in this position where, you know, where he's got to kind of pull the kids up like that. You know, we've we've always. Um, gotten the kids and in, in, in their psychology and their psyche, I should say, and uh, and and get them to believe and have confidence. But man, he's got them playing with some confidence, and he's positioned himself. And you know, not to give him too many compliments because we, you know, we we got to get him on Friday. But <laughs> but man, I'm impressed with the job he's done, and 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 uh, you know, and that's that's what it is. You know, I'm just proud of him. All right, guys. Finally, obviously, your sweet mother Charlene's the biggest football fan around. I'm just curious, what what is she going to do on Friday night? She probably, you know, has mixed emotions about everything going on. She's got her she's got her grandsons on the team, so you know, she I don't, I don't fault her for for yeah, showing. There's a little there's a little rental birdie, little little natural rental birdie favoritism because her <laughs> yeah, grandsons. So, and that and that's fine, but I'm sure you know we've talked and stuff, so she's going <laughs> to try to split her time on the sidelines and you know and try to. Try to keep it, you know, try to keep it. Keep it uh, neutral. Yeah, keep it neutral. But, you know, I, I understand, you know, and then after next year, then it needs to be a little more balanced. But, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, I, I understand. All right, guys, let's, let's end it on, on a positive, warm and fuzzy note. So, Greg, I'm going to ask you, what do you think makes Eric a great head coach? And, Eric, I'm going to ask you, what do you think makes Greg a great head coach? So, Greg, I'll, I'll start with you. Yeah, you froze up for a second. Oh, sorry. Yeah, froze up. Um, man, I, you know, I, I, I could talk for hours about my little brother, man. I've, I've always been impressed with him. I've always looked up to him, even though he's a little brother. Um, but he's, you know, he's a great human being. Um, he's a great example of manhood to these young men, these young boys going into manhood. Um, and he's a, he's a genius of a football mind. And so, um, and so it's an honor of mine to go against him. Uh, it's going to be an honor to beat him. And, uh, and, and that's what it is. So I'm going to keep it warm and fuzzy, but I'm going to keep it competitive. So, um, but yeah, he's just a genius and, and, uh, and a good man, you know, and, and ends up being a good coach. All right, very good. How about you, Eric? My brother is, I don't, uh, I don't even know if I know anybody who's more competitive than him. He might be the most competitive person I know. And so, even right now, as he's trying to give me a compliment, <laughs> he's got to give me a little bit of like, after we beat him Friday night, he can continue being a genius, uh, you know, every other day. But, you know, so it's just like, that's what I know. That's And I and his kids, like, to his credit, like, they're playing at that super hyper competitive, like, and that was always our goal, you know, back, back you know, back at the hills, like. Man, we we got to go. We had irrational confidence was our motto. Like like we're coming to it, we will line it up against anybody. And so you can see it on film. Like and it doesn't always translate on film. Like sometimes you know kids will you know in certain games or situations they'll play with confidence and play hard. They play hard all the time and it's aggressive. And I'm excited to line up against it. Well, guys, listen, I really appreciate your time. Listen, I know it's a very uh, busy, hectic week. It's an important week with a league championship on the line. And uh, so, again, taking out, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes here to join us on the Inland Sports Show, I really do appreciate the both of you guys. You're two of my favorites. I look up to you guys. I know a lot of football coaches in the area look up to you guys as well. So there, people were reaching out to me, asking me. Before I even reached out to you guys, they were saying, hey, you got to get the Zomaltz on. I'm like, I know, I know. I, I do got to get them on, so I will try. So thank you guys so much. I know a lot of people were looking forward to this interview. Thanks, Press. I appreciate it, man. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on Friday, man. And I, I'm gonna tell you get there early because it's gonna be it's gonna be packed. For sure. Appreciate you, Pat.
Yes, sir. That is Eric Zoma on the end, head football coach at Rancho Verde. Greg Zoma on the middle, head football coach at Orange Vista. And again, uh, the game's at Rancho Verde. If you can't make it out there, it'll be live on Teen Vision TV 16. Uh, but we'd love to pack that place, get it loud, and uh, for a league title on the line. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate the time. All right, so that's the Zomalt brothers breaking down the Ivy League title. And again, there's the graphic on the screen. Mustangs and Coyotes going head to head for the Ivy League championship. It's going to be a lot of fun. Two great coaches, two great programs, and uh, with so much at stake with a league championship. Inland Sports.